I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question to practice permutation and combination. So in this particular question, we need to solve algebraically n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 4 factorial equals to 10. So let's rewrite this particular equation and simplify it. So the equation given to us is n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 4 factorial equals to 10. Now n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and the denominator we have n minus 2 factorial times 4 factorial. Now n minus 2 factorial and n minus 2 factorial can be cancelled. This is equal to 10. So now let's cross multiply. So we are left with n times n minus 1 equals to 10 times 4 factorial. So that is kind of a quadratic equation. So what we have here is n square minus n equals to 4 factorial is, let's write this as 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1, correct? So that gives you n square minus n equals to 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24 times 10, 240. So we have an equation which is, let's bring 240 to the left side, is n square minus n minus 240 equals to 0. Now you can solve this equation for n uh, using uh, quadratic formula or even factoring. So let's find two factors. Since n is an integer, factoring is a good option. Correct? Now since this number is 1, that means the two numbers which when multiplied to give 240 should be very close. So my method is find the square root of 240. So when you find square root of 240, uh, in let's say in decimals, it is 15.4. That gives an indication that the numbers could be 15 and 16, right? So, so let's multiply 15 and 16 and see what do we get. We do get 240. Do you understand? So that's a good technique to find product and sum. Since this is negative, the two numbers 16 should be negative, right? So, so n minus 16 times n plus 15 should be equal to 0 and 15 times 16 is 240 minus times plus is minus so we do get our result so from here we can write n equals to 16 or n equals to minus 15 since n should be positive integer they should be rejected right so we'll reject this value and our answer is n equals to 16. i hope you understand now how to solve such factorial involving equations algebraically. So the idea is to cancel out one of the factorials and then simplify using the normal rules. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope it helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.